switch on max and shift the central axis to the side. All right, now the shape is ready. Let's control vertex and connect. We'll do this so that this polygon here doesn't stretch too much over the surface. Prince image, there's this fine little detail here. And above it, it's a bulb. Hi everyone, in this lesson we'll continue to model our scene and we already have a table and a window and next on our list is a pendant lamp. This lamp has two lamp shades, the shape of a, a truncated cone. Let's start. On the side view, we click line to create a side part of the lamp. And we also uncheck the enable in viewport box. And then we go ahead and apply the lathe modifier in order to create a rotation shape. Switch on max and shift the central axis to the side. All right, now the shape is ready. Then let's go ahead and head over to camera perspective view and apply the lathe modifier. Align the shape so that it overlaps with the lampshade. To adjust the bottom diameter, we head over to line and then enable modifier stack. And next we switch to point selection and align the shape along the Y. We then lift it up a little bit and now the bottom diameter of the shape matches that in the photo. And we'll do the same to the top diameter. I'm going to go ahead and press F3 to enable default shading. And one lampshade is ready. In the editing mode, we'll make a copy. See? It doesn't match the photo. And we shift it until the axis. The axis of the bottom diameter, when it aligns with the axis of the reference image. And then we simply slightly shift it to the side. And let's see what we've got. On top view, these lampshades are positioned diagonally. We figured that out from the camera view. It's possible that the lampshades can be slightly misaligned. That's fine. So next, we need to model this fastening element. There's a vertical tube and a tube that links the two lampshades. On side view, we click line and keeping shift pressed, draw a line with straight angles. So then we check the boxes, enable and render and enable in viewport and we set thickness at 10 millimeters. This is how thick our tube will be. And now we've created the tube in a random spot. So now we're gonna move it closer to the lampshades. And seeing that the lampshades are slightly misaligned, we ship this point here. The tube is put in the center of each lampshade. In viewport, we can see how the tube is positioned. And so we'll lift the corners a little bit and increase thickness to to 12 millimeters, I would say. And next we're gonna round up the corners. We click fillet and round off our spline. There we go. Now our tube is ready. So now let's go ahead and click create line and add a vertical line this vertical element right here. Pretty much like so. 
a kind of a line. Now let's shift this line so that it aligns with our tube. The vertical tube is now visible in the viewport. The connection has cylindrical shape, so we're gonna create a cylinder. Click standard primitives, cylinder. This one has random size. It was created at the origin of the coordinate system. And now we'll lift it up. We go back to perspective view and set the dimensions. Scale it along X and Y until it matches the reference. Shift it along the Z axis. Let's make the central element here more detailed, a bit more complicated. Convert it to editable poly, then apply and set and shift it down just a little bit. Keeping shift pressed, we scale and then shift it. With shift pressed, we scale it to the center along the X and Y axis and then one small inset and a large one. And we press Ctrl to switch to point selection and hit connect. In order to make this central element more detailed, we apply the Turbo Smooth modifier. Now our element looks more complex. Now, to make the chamfer sharper, we shift the edges closer to the rim. And next, we select this side, set the inset at one millimeter plus one more and then we press control vertex and connect we do this so that this polygon here doesn't stretch too much over the surface so this is our line model now we're gonna create details for the bulbs now let's look at the reference image there's this fine little detail here and above it is a bulb. So we copy this cylinder and place it here. Rotate it by 180 degrees so that its flat part slopes down. Like that. And we lift it up and center it it on top view. Next we scale it until it has the right dimensions, like in perspective view. We'll make the lampshade transparent. Align the cylinder like this. And then we scale it along the Z because it's more narrow. All right. Now we're gonna copy this detail to the second lampshade. And keeping shift pressed, we shift it and click copy. All right, then we also could add a light bulb. We're gonna place light sources here, so no bulbs. And next we're gonna attach the lampshades. Convert to Editable Poly, and then Attach. And next we're going to add a thickness in order to hide the backside of the polygons. We apply the Shell modifier and set the outer amount value to 1.5 millimeters. And then we'll convert it to Editable Poly. Okay. And now we're going to fix the edges. Select horizontal edges and click connect. One, two, three, four. Then we stretch them apart. And now we shift this edge to the rim. Finally, we apply the turbo smooth modifier. And that's pretty much it. 
However, I can see that the edge and the photo is a bit thicker. So it's rounded outwards. This rounding is easy to reproduce. we we'll click connect and add another horizontal edge. And so this time, instead of four, we enter one. Shift it down. But if, if the edges are pushed outside, we can enable edge mode and shift the edges down. Now we go to side view and select this group of points. We disable edge const uh, constraints and do this. Then we enable polygon selection. Shrink the selection and scale this part along the axis. And this is how we get ourselves this yellow triangle. This is the element that we've got in perspective view. We apply turbo smooth and now it looks more like in the reference image. Now we're gonna just copy this shape so that we don't have to create it all over again. Okay. So these are our lampshades. We apply Turbo Smooth to remove this blackness here. We switch to viewport clipping and move up the slider a little bit. All right, our lamp is ready. Now we stretch this tube all the way to the ceiling. We also need to add a, a canopy where the lamp attaches to the ceiling. We copy this detail and reduce its dimensions since all the objects have the same material. We're gonna attach them and we'll convert the spline to editable poly and also attach it here, 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 and over here. All right, and our lamp is ready.